Okay. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how I crosshatch. And of course, there are no do's and don'ts when it comes to crosshatching. But I'm just going to show you guys some tips that I find very useful when trying to define things like shapes and objects and give them more volume and depth. So um, I'm just warming up right here and this is a Stadler 2mm lead holder in case any of you guys were wondering. So let's get right into it. Alright so first a lot of the times when I see people crosshatch they usually crosshatch just kind of like that. It's pretty simple actually. And you'll notice that these lines are pretty uniform all throughout, which means there's no like thick to thin. And the way I get a thick to thin line is I can either draw it in first and make a darker mark over here. So you can see that goes from thick to thin. I just draw the thick part in earlier or afterwards. Or I can draw the thick part first and then extend the line out. So kind of like that. So the thick to thin will actually show more of um, gradual from dark to light kind of thing. And you kind of want a gradient there. So if you're only cross hatching like this, you can't really tell which side is darker, which side is lighter. However, if I do something like this, you can tell that this side's supposed to be darker than this side. So, after that, I'll show you guys how to cross hatch the other way too. So, after you have these lines, I'll draw in a few over here. So, these will be two different ones. So, if you want to go from dark to light, you don't want to just go like this, where you spread your lines evenly throughout the whole thing. What you want to do is you start out with the lines very close together at the beginning and slowly spread them out as you get to the top. So you can see this, this is kind of uniform throughout, but this goes from darker to lighter. So yeah. And the final thing I want to cover is if you're shading, let me just draw a cylinder right here, if you're shading round objects, uh, let me get this in real quick, All right, if you're shading rounder objects, you don't want to go like this, because So I'm just drawing vertical lines across. Of course you can do it this way, but this won't give it as much of a sense of shape, whereas if you did this right here. So this still has a thick to thin line, but it's just a flat straight line. What you want to do is you kind of curve the line around what you're drawing. So I'm not actually doing the best job for this right now because it's at a weird angle, but you can see how somewhat curved lines are still better than completely straight lines because um, if you think of the object, it's not going to, and want to give it kind of a curve. Sorry, that, that was very bad. Okay. So... The lines going across to define it, you don't want it going like this because that just makes it look very flat. However, if you curve around the shape like this, it kind of gives it a sense of volume and just the definition of the shape right there. So that's kind of how you want the lines to go. So yeah. 